Hey, it's Carmen from Curious Chicks, and today I'm going to talk to you about Barcelona Part 2. In part one, I talked about four places that are a must-see in Barcelona, but in this video, I'm going to talk about entertainment, shopping, and eating. Barcelona Beach. Barcelona Beach is the main beach along Barcelona, and it's just a little bit dirty. It has a nice beachfront, there's a lot of restaurants and bars and clubs for later on at night, and it's a nice place to just lay out but you might want to be careful when you go into the water. So my friend, she put her face in the water and then she got an eye infection. And then we had to go to the pharmacy and get all kinds of different medicine and we didn't know what it was or how serious it was, but she really couldn't see for a full day. And so I would suggest don't put your face in the water. That's just a really good tip. Along Barcelona Beach is the Barcelona Beach Tower and it's just this kind of cute little architectural structure that you can go and take a picture in front of. Nothing too crazy or special, but it's some place to go check out. If you want to experience some nightlife along the beach, there are many bars that line the beach, but be prepared to pay an entrance fee, which is even for a girl is going to be a little bit expensive. What's kind of interesting is that usually the entrance fees include a drink, so at least you get one drink. If you like to gamble, there's also a casino along the beach, which if you want to just get your gambling fix, then that's where you're going to go. In the city, you might want to check out the bar Espit Chupitos, which is a cool little quaint bar where the bartenders put on a little show while they're preparing their drinks, such as lighting their drinks on fire. If you're in the mood for shopping, check out Las Ramblas, which is a long street. In the middle of Las Ramblas is an area where there are a bunch of kiosks that sell a bunch of different souvenirs, as well as little restaurants where you can stop and take a break, have a snack, have a drink. For more shopping and dining, check out the Gothic Quarter, which is right next to Las Ramblas. And there, it has a very cute historical setting to it, a lot of cobblestone roads and quaint narrow streets, and it's just such a cute and little fun place to walk through. You'll also want to check out the indoor food market that's right off of Las Ramblas. And in there, they got different fresh squeezed juices, meat, seafood, all kinds of different food there that you can just purchase right on hand. But be aware that there are a lot of little vendors, so it's really tight and be prepared to dodge a lot of people. One of the best things about traveling to Barcelona is the food. And the food there is amazing. But there are some restaurants that I thought were really good versus some other ones that were just okay. So I'm gonna tell you about the ones that I really liked. One of my favorite restaurants was Julivert Mew, and they had really great carpaccio. So if you like the raw salmon or raw beef, then this is a good place to go to for that. The next place is Tramoya, and Tramoya was also off of Las Ramblas. That place had great paella, garlic shrimp, and bread with tomato sauce. Mm. Another place is called Crepes Barcelona, and this place was nothing but crepes either savory or sweet crepes. It was a nice change from always eating tapas. Taller de Tapas was also a really busy place. It was always busy, people were always in line for this restaurant, so I said I have to try this place. I really like their aubergine, which is eggplant with lime and honey. If you want some great seafood, try out Mariscos, which is in the Plaza Real, which is in the Gothic Quarter and it's a really cute little square that has a bunch of restaurants, but this place had some really good monkfish. Whether you go to those restaurants or not, you should definitely eat those foods that I just mentioned. Also, you're gonna wanna drink some of the wine because it's really cheap and it's, most of it is pretty good. Also have the sangria. It's a little bit more expensive, but still really affordable and eat lots of seafood, octopus, shrimp, fish, shellfish, because it's very plentiful there. Another thing to check out is the flamenco show. If you can't make it to the southern part of Spain in Andalusia, which is the birthplace of flamenco, then you can check out the flamenco shows in Barcelona. There's some really good ones there. And if you're feeling just a little naughty, you can check out the Erotic Museum, which is right off of Las Ramblas. Other things to be aware of is that getting around Barcelona is actually really easy. Most of it, you'll probably just be walking a lot, but you can also take their metro system or take a cab. Uh, it's very easy to get around Barcelona. And just a couple other things about Barcelona, eating late is a normal thing. So eating late at like nine o'clock for dinner is very normal. But you know what? You won't even realize that it's late because the sun doesn't really set until nine o'clock anyway. And lastly, Spain is known for their siestas of taking a nap or just these long breaks of places closing in the middle of the day. You can either take a siesta yourself or don't, but definitely you're not going to be doing much on Sundays because almost everything is closed on Sundays. 
So I hope that helps you to understand Barcelona a little more in regards to shopping, eating, and entertainment. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, or subscribe to our channel.